guardian pigs. The not so friendly uh, walking and talking pork of Don't Starve Together, everyone. But what exactly sets their skirts a swaying? Why and how are they any different from normal pigmen in this game? And what the heck gives with their obsession with torches? Those are just some of the questions we will be trying to answer here today. But I imagine there's another, more pressing inquiry on the mind of some out there as we speak right now. What the heck are guardian pigs? Let's discuss. After we get a bit lucky with world generations, that is. For you see, guardian pigs and their set pieces are not guaranteed. So it is entirely possible that you have never seen one in your life. So that last question is absolutely valid. But if you are going to stumble upon them, however, it will be within your grasslands or savannas more often than not. That said, the conspicuous chest set piece found in our forest biomes has a chance to spawn in the middle of four guardian pigs as seen here and do note that opening it will instantly turn all of these pigs into wear pigs so be mindful there otherwise i just keep an eye out for a respectable collection of berry bushes and or grass tufts as those are the two resources that these typically hostile meals on wheels are actually guarding now they'll usually be doing so in a big group as well but occasionally you might find a guy all alone too which is much much easier to handle. But how do we tackle such a rather large group of pigs that boast a whopping 600 health each and 33 damage a punch? Carefully. That's how. If you are not in a position to potentially clear one of these set pieces quite yet, just keep your distance as it's only when we get too close that they aggro. So it's a live and let live situation for sure. Unless it happens to be dusk, of course. As for whatever reason, Guardian Pigs have a significantly increased aggro range come this time, which can and will be quite annoying to deal with, especially at night, as they don't sleep either. Thankfully, though, given their need to remain by their torches, dropping this aggro is also very, very easy to do, so take advantage of that. Be ready to use numbers to your liking as well, as fighting a bunch of Guardian Pigs at once by your lonesome is just not gonna happen, no matter who you are. Their kiting pattern is the same as other pigmen, sure, so keep that in mind, but I would still bring friends if I were you, be them real or in-game. Now, I wouldn't bring anything or anyone who could possibly destroy them torches we keep mentioning, however, as they might just be the greatest prize after clearing these things. Well, be on the garden loot, of course, as guardian pigs will not be dropping anything special over a normal pig mind. But what are these unique structures, you ask? Pig torches are essentially pig houses for guardian pigs, as the latter respawn every four days just like our normal porky companions do. Be mindful though, they cannot be refueled by players through any usual means, and guardian pigs themselves will only refuel their own torches and no one else's. So with that in mind, we have two options here. We can hammer these completely non-renewable and very rare structures for three logs and a pile of poop beach, or we can be very smart and have them walled off for infinite lights. Obviously, I implore you to be much smarter than I was here by making the pen smaller or removing a couple of in-the-way torches to help give yourself more room to play with. But the idea is very sound. Who doesn't like infinite lights? Enjoy it. But trust me, we aren't done yet, folks. Not when there's a neat little trick involving pig torches and the dead. Any ghost player who happens to haunt a pig torch will not only refuel the thing by a great margin, but can also instantly respawn the guardian pig tied to the torch if it happens to be dead. And with everything still to come here today, this is really dang useful stuff. So make notes. To continue though, guardian pigs also differ from normal pigmen in that they don't really eat anything. Not even when it's left on the ground right and flip in front of them. Now this also means that guardian pigs will never be able to made loyal unfortunately, even if we can forcibly shove meat down their gullets as you can see. But hey, at least they can still become were pigs at the end of the day. Now that's of note as not only will they actually lose their 600 health, it might actually be our best 
bet at separating the group from each other on top of the guaranteed loot that Werepigs provide us. Now you best do what you want to do quickly though, as the moment they do return to normal, they will beeline straight back to their torches. But before we end the day with some extra fun tidbits, I'm going to leave you with a couple other relevant things here. Be sure to bait your trapped guardian pigs before a full moon, otherwise they will break out of their containments. And while it is said that guardian pigs themselves are supposed to have a shorter wear pig form, I do not believe that that specific mechanic has made a transition that don't starve together. As believe it or not, guardian pigs first originated within solo don't starve and adventure mode. In fact, they are not only way more common in Reign of Giants, but also have an exclusive set of varied set pieces and mechanics to them to boot. Take for example this massive group of pigs guarding and reluctantly worshipping a Maxwell statue. Guardian pig fortresses are also found in adventure mode and are meant to be a tough challenge to those hoping to progress between worlds and branches within their mind. And while I tried to generate four separate sets of five different worlds in search of one of these things here today, I literally couldn't locate one. So here's just a picture taken from the wiki to give you an idea of what to look out for. And finally, there's even a rare guardian pig pig king set piece specifically that comes with its own guardian pig behavior. For you see, these particular pigs will actually allow us to get close and trade with the fat man they just love so much, but the moment we stop trading with the guy, they immediately want us gone. Yup, it's a thing. Just not for Don't Starve Together, that is. But still, I figured it was long past time to showcase these peculiar piggies, and if we were gonna do it, we had to do it right. That meant not only forcing their spawns in Don't Starve Together, but also taking a trip down memory lane as well. They are lean, mean, and wear a bit of green, but also offer us a lot of potential that is very unseen. Exploit their aggro, exploit their light, and you just might come out all right. Thanks for watching, folks. Well, wish it to all. Good luck encountering these things, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.